Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're gonna go over our spelling words for the day. Make sure that as we go through our words today that you are participating well using your hands and fingers, breaking them and uh, breaking the words into syllables and sounds. And make sure you're trying to say everything I'm saying so that you can really learn how to understand how spelling works. Not just you can spell the words for this week, but so you understand spelling in general. When we write the words, make sure you use your very best handwriting, including all the spaces, rules, and markings. Now, make sure we're on page 15 in the middle portion of our spelling book. Let's go ahead and take this page and fold it neatly in half by lining up the red lines. All right. All right, the first word is the word who. Now, who is an unusual word because it does not follow our spelling rules, okay? Who, base word who. <sighs> Ooh, we're actually gonna use the WH to make that sound. Write who. <sighs> Ooh. Markings, <sighs> twice. Ooh, three. So the WH is making the sound. The O is making its third sound, put a three above it. Now the next word is die, like when life leaves something. So like when a plant or a tree dies, we say, and we say it's a sad thing that, th sad thing that things have to die. Die, duh, I. And here we're actually gonna use the IE phonogram to make that sound, die. They write die, duh. I markings the I once two. Now here, this is not a silent final E, um, truly, um, because it's not allowing the I to say I or allowing the E the I to not be at the end of the word. That's not typically something that does. It is a two-letter phonogram, but it is keeping the I from being at the end of the word, and that's why when we add our next ending, we'll see how that works. Okay, so died. Like, the tree in our front yard died. Died. Base word, die, ending, duh. And here's my past tense phonogram, ed. I write die, duh, i, without the silent final e, because we don't hear this e, so it is, it is silent, and it is at the end, right? So it's kind of acting like a silent final e. So we're going to write it without that, because my ending, duh, starts with a vowel. Now we put it together. Now we have duh. I, duh. Now I got rid of the silent final E, but the E from my, from my duh, from my, my ED phonogram, now goes join and joins that I and makes the um, same phonogram that was there. Okay? All right, so write died. Duh. I. Duh. Now markings. Duh. I. Once. Two. It's making a second sound. And now we're going to underline the ED again. ED, so the E gets double underlined. It's making its second sound. Now we had rule 11 when we got rid of the silent final E to add ED and rule 28. Okay, and rule 28 is that I can only use the ED phonogram for past tense. So died, right? And we'll brace those two. The next word is change. Like, look how the color, the, tr the color of the leaves change in fall. Change. Base word, change. Ch. A. N. J. E. Right? Now here, I have an N and a G, but it's not the ung phonogram. They're each making their own sounds. Okay? All right, write change. Ch. A. N. J. E. Markings, ch, once, a, once, n, once, j, once, e, once, change. So here the e is allowing the a to say a. That's why this says a, right? So it's jumping over both of those, let the a say a. And then here it's also letting the g say j. But the first thing it does is the job one, so that's why we underline it like job one. Now the next word is changing. So we could say that the weather is constantly changing. Changing, base word change, ending E, or ending ing. I write change without the silent final E because my ending ing starts with a vowel. Change ing, ch, a, n, j, no E, 
e ang, changing. Okay, write it. Change. Ing. Ch, once. Now here, we don't have the silent final E anymore, but it's still going to say A. A, N, J, rule 11, I, N, once. Okay, and rule 11 is I had to get rid of that silent final E. All right, let's go ahead and brace those two. The next word is few. Like, I just want a few cookies. Few, few, f, you. And here we're going to use the U, U phonogram. Okay, few, f, you, f, you, once, two. Right, it's making its second sound. The next word is the word please. Like, will you please do something, right? Please, base word please. Rule E Z E. Here I'm going to use the E A A, and here I'm going to use an S to make that Z sound. Okay, it's like please. P Rule E Z E. Please. Markings. P Rule E once. Z two. E twice. Job five. Right? So here, this E is not doing anything. It's doing job five. There's no reason for it to be there. It's probably there so that the S doesn't look like a plural, because words that end in S are often plural. So that's probably why it's there, but it's not actually doing anything. Now, we use the word please when we're being courteous, like, will you please do this for me? But we can also use please like, that pleased me, that, that made me happy. Right? So like when I, when I go on a nice walk, I say, oh, that pleased me. Right? Now, we can also say if something pleases us, it is pleasant. So I could say that was a pleasant walk, right? So it comes from the word please. Here we go. Pleasant, base word please, ending ant. I write please without the silent final E because my ending ant starts with a vowel. Ples ant. P -l -e -z -a -n -t. And you'll notice here that my E A, -a the sound of it has changed from an E to an E. For pleasant. Okay, right? Pleasant. Ples. Ant. P. U. E. Once. Two. Z. Two. Rule. Eleven. A. N. T. Pleasant. All right? The next word is the word money, right? Like, I need to be able to spend some money. Money, base word money. Mon, i, m, a, n, i. And here we're gonna use the E-Y phonogram, right? Money, mon, i. M, a, n, i, once, three. And the last word is ready. Like, are you ready to go? Ready. Base word ready. Red, i, r, e, d, i. And here we're going to use the e, a, a phonogram. Ready. Red, i. Markings r, e, once, two, d, i, rule six. English words can't end in I, so I use a Y. All right, well, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.